I'm going away with him. The married man. His name is Peter. There's a lot more to him than just that. The married part. Would you stop emphasizing that word? You know, it's bad enough with the other voices I have going on inside me. What voices? Oh, I don't know, my sister. My father, if he were alive. My mother, if she knew. And what about you? <laughs> the loudest of all. So, how do you feel about uh, this trip with Peter? I'm nervous. You know, you go away with someone, you see things that you didn't see before. What do you think you'll see? I don't know. Maybe how crazy all of this is. I even thought of not going, but I... I want to be with him. Maybe the time away together will put things into focus. I mean, you know, there are things that you give up in any relationship. At least with Peter, I could keep my freedom, my independence. I don't have to give up who I am. And that's more important to you than uh, the things you do give up. It's just there's something so terrific about him. About us. When we're together. This feels so right. How can it be wrong? Living in time and feeling every moment. Do I walk into tomorrow and never? Sometimes I just don't know how much to uh, tell you, you know, about things in my life. And because, I mean, how much do you really want to know about your parents? Although, technically, I know I'm not your mom, but you know, I feel like a mom. So I didn't want to just sneak off like some teenager. Or not that you would ever sneak off. Um, it's just, uh, well, Peter's in my life now, and I figured you're mature enough to handle this. And it's not like I'm some kind of kid, and I figured you'd probably figure it out for yourself anyway. So our... Are you okay with this? Hey, it's cool, man. I'm glad you're happy. Oh. But I really hope you're not taking this. <laughs> What's wrong with this? You're not going to go away on a romantic weekend and sleep in a t-shirt now, are you? Never mind what I'm going to sleep in. So, what are you kids going to be doing all weekend long? Oh, you know, just take walks and read. Oh, way hot. Way, way hot. Kim. Mama. Stop it! Would you just please get the wool socks on the dresser? Hey, Rosie, if you married Peter, how many step parents would I have? Aren't you late for school? How do you know when someone's the right person for you? Well, when they accept you even in your t-shirt and your woolen socks. Come on, Rosie, this is serious. Oh, Kim, I don't even know if there is such a thing as the one. Because sometimes the one that you think is the one, is the one who's most likely to break your heart. Well, what makes you want to be with one person more than somebody else? 
Well, it's like you both get the joke. And when you fight, it's better than fighting with anyone else in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Was it that way with Dad? I don't remember anymore. Well, what did you like best about him? You. <laughs> so you really like Peter, huh? Yeah, I like him. <laughs> so what do you think will happen with you guys? Well, it's complicated. And your older people's lives don't always fit so easily together. Well, personally, I think the two of you would be excellent together. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, th that's my right. I gotta go. Okay. You have the number? Yeah, yeah don't worry. Okay, okay. come here. <laughs> oh, have a great weekend, Rosie. Thanks. <laughs> what do you and Nina have planned? Oh, well, we're gonna be in liquids until Sunday. Later. Okay. Hi. Bye. Bye. Hi. Your limo driver's here. Oh, thanks, Doreen. I really appreciate it. I just didn't want to leave my car at the office. Thank you. And do not look at me like that. Did I say anything? You didn't have to. I do not need your disapproval right now, OK? Excuse me. Would you grab that? Certainly. Arthur. Hi, darling. What are you doing here? <laughs> Does a mother need a reason? Mom's car is in the shop. I'm playing chauffeur today. Where are you going? Uh, a conference. Oh, that's lovely. Giving a paper? I'm on a panel. Ethics in our modern society. It's a very hot topic these days. Excuse me. I hate weekends. No wonder that surprise me. You know why I hate weekends? No, but let me guess. Because everyone else likes them. No, I hate weekends because you're supposed to have a good time. When you're supposed to have a good time, you usually have a rotten time. Where are you going? Just somewhere in the country. I hate the country. The bed always sags, place stinks of bug spray. People are always trying to make you play charades. Well, thank you for the travel log from hell. You know, instead of complaining about your lousy weekends, which you probably spend all alone with a six-pack, you could do something to make somebody else's weekend a little better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some volunteers do good or type. Guaranteed. Oh, yes, uh, Mr. Laws, I'm, I'm, look, I'm very sorry. I'm leaving to go out of town. Could I talk to you on Monday about that? And all of a sudden you, you Great. Smell the ghetto, Thanks a lot. Welfare, mother, poverty line. I don't care if you donate your kidney to the Girl Scouts. Don't guilt me. I don't give it the office. Would you two give it a rest? Nice luggage. Thanks. This is the name of the character witness on the Figlin case. All right, I want it by Monday. It's new. I can tell by the smell. Mm. Yeah, you got a lot of new things in your life lately, Counselor. I'd like to stay and listen to your observations, Sherlock. But I'm trying to get out of here early. Excuse me. Thank you, and goodbye. Banking hours. Hey, Counselor. Be careful. Don't go too fast. Lots of traffic on the road. And be sure to cover up. Oh, this is great. We're finally on our way, huh? I feel everything lifting, you know. Mm. You have a great mouth. Come over here and say that. And this ear. I like this ear a lot. A whole lot. Mm. Oh. Why do you have to smell so good? Mm. You're going to stop traffic. I just want to stop time. I thought we did that in the garage. <laughs> How did that happen? Remind me. Wait. <sighs> Wish we were like this in real life. Wasn't that Route 138? Where? Back, th back there. That couldn't be 138. Well, did we pass a red barn with a sign, fresh corn and homemade jam? 
Well, I don't know. We passed a million red barns. Well, you were supposed to tell me when we get to the red barn. You're the map reader, remember? Well, you're the driver. Is there some law that says you can't actually look where you're going? Well, I was a little distracted with someone nibbling on my ear. Well, we're going to have to stop and ask for directions. It's OK. Peter, we're going in the wrong direction. We'll get there. Don't worry. Why is it that men never want to stop and ask for directions? Is this kind of some secret male bond thing, or is it just genetic? How hard can it be to find a country in? OK. Maybe if we just found a gas station. Or not. I gotta tell you, you didn't do something right. And if you listen to me now, I'm gonna tell you how to get where you want to go. Excuse me. Back about 20 miles, you'll pass a red bar with, that, with a sign. Fresh corn. Homemade jam. Yeah. You know, I guess you really took a wrong turn back there, didn't you? Good thing you stopped. Because if you'd have kept going down this road, you'd have been up the creek, so to speak. Thank you. Good luck. Don't. couple over there. They just had a fight. He wants to see Terminator 2, and she's into Woody Allen. They'll never last. <laughs> the McGillicuddy's over there. They just did it. <laughs> how do you know that? Look how they're eating. Ravenous. <laughs> uh, I love these two. Look. They've probably been through the wars together, huh? Think you and I'll be like that? Do you really want to sit across a table from me when we're in our 80s and I have no new stories to tell you? They just look like they're so crazy about each other. You know what I think? What? I think everybody in this whole place is looking at us and thinking the same thing. Oh, is that you? Work. I told them not to call me unless it's something really important. It's OK. You order me some coffee, Black? Sure. So, what can I get you, Toots? Ma. Mona. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you... You look very familiar. You know, everybody says I remind them of somebody. <laughs> now, what can I get you? I pass on the meatloaf. Oh, uh, just... Coffee, please. All righty. What about your fella? Uh, coffee, black. You two make a nice couple. Don't mind my saying so. Too bad he's married. I beg your pardon? Well, I mean, that's just an observation. <laughs> my line of work, you get to see the whole stream of humanity. How could you tell? Well, there's a look. I didn't see it when I met him. No, 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 not him, honey. You. You got the look. Kind of that can't be too happy because I'm guilty look. I didn't think it showed. Well, <coughs> what are you going to do? I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to take each moment as it comes. And, you know, try not to analyze it. Would you please? I, I'm... Oh, I know. Good man's hard to find. I had one. Juliet died on me. Oh, I'm sorry. Found out he cheated on me once. 
Couldn't eat or sleep for a month. It's terrible. Look, I ain't the one to give advice. I just hate to see a nice woman like you with so much potential and all just get herself hurt. I'm a grown-up. I know what I'm doing. Well, if I had a daughter like you, all educated and everything, I just wanted her to have something a little bit better. Look, I would love to uh, stay and chat with you, but if it's not too much trouble, maybe you could rustle up that coffee for me. Oh, oh it's no trouble. No trouble at all. You take care of yourself now. Here. Up, Ed Colnitz is not happy with the headlines for the piece. She's threatening to pull out. I could really use that coffee. Could we have that coffee as fast Can as I take your order? I just gave the order to another waitress, Mona. There's no Mona working here. Hey, B, you take this table's order. Okay. Rosie, would you like some coffee? Please. Yes. I'm sorry. I don't know what got me started on this Catholic guilt. It doesn't take much. I ought to know. But could we leave our mea culpas behind? Gladly. What's that? Ignore it. Maybe it'll go away. It's not going away. This is not happening. I don't believe this. I'm not hearing that noise. Do you think we're being punished? But I guaranteed it. I'm sorry, sir. We held the room until 10. 10. We are being punished. At 10, I was passing by the barn I missed the first time around because of your lousy directions. And then, to stop ourselves from killing each other while we were waiting for the emergency service to arrive, what do we do? We thought about the beautiful suite with a panoramic view overlooking the lake, the majestic mountains that we reserved for Look, us. It's not your fault, really. It was just that we're tired, that's all. So whatever you have, we don't need a suite. We'll take anything. Yes, ma'am. I do have something. Thank you. He's usually a very charming man. And what did you mean when you said he's usually a very charming man? Well, it's not a trait the one would describe to you at that particular moment. Is all. Oh, you don't like it when I'm rude and insulting and lose my Irish temper? Actually, it turned me on. Keep your fingers crossed. Not bad. You'll be okay. Does this room smell funny to you? No, not really. Smells funny to me. I don't smell anything. Mildew. It's the woods. You're picking up the scent of the woods. My clothes feel damp, and I feel the spores boring through my respiratory system. It's mildew. Well, you know what's one man's mildew is another man's perfume. You're not buying a minute of that? How about if I open a window? Best bed I've ever been on. I'm gonna buy this bed. I'll buy it for you. I 
think I may die. Die here. Orange peels on the fire. Completely blocks out the dreaded smell of mildew. Oh. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just feel so awkward. Like it's the first time. You know? It will be the first time that we've actually ever slept together. It's more intimate than sex, isn't it? I'll try to be gentle. I promise I won't kick you in my sleep. Went for a run. Didn't want to wake you. You looked so pretty. Love, Peter. Hey, quit tensing up. You're working on your abs, not your face. And don't forget to breathe. All right, I'll do that very thing as soon as I can. What are you doing here? Well, that's a long story. You got time, I'll tell it. Excuse me, do we know each other? If you're over 35, divorced, and trying to get through the 90s in one piece, honey, I know you, and you know me. Well, either the world is very small, or my life is flashing in front of me. Come on, let's hit the bench press. Good for the pecs. You know, you could be my sister, Doreen. We're all sisters. And we have to pull together in these days of woe. Count of 10. At our age, it's a constant fight against gravity. So, you up here with Mr. Right or Mr. Wrong? I wish I knew. Whatever. I just think it's time sisters were honest with each other. There's a backlash against women in this country, and I'm here to tell you I am on your side. Well, that's a comfort. That's Tim. Is he married? What, am I wearing a sign? Hey, no judgment. Definitely not Doreen. All right, girl, come on. Let's hit the lap machine. Park it right there. There you go. Now turn around and face me, darling. What I'm trying to say is married men are the way to go unless you're married to them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever feel guilty about doing that to a sister? Honey. If he was happy being married to her, he wouldn't be having an affair with you behind your head. Well, every time I think about it, I wonder if I can keep pulling this off. Look, how many times does someone come along you want to work your glutes and abs for? Not many. Exactly. All I'm saying is you only go around once in this life. Unless you're Shirley MacLaine. That's good. Time for thigh busters, darling. I always thought that I'd be married to the same man my whole life. But just uh, think of all the perks of being single. Yeah. Not fighting over who gets to read the newspaper first in the morning. You get a pig out on ice cream in the middle of the night. <laughs> Not compromising over whose career comes first. Maybe you don't want him to leave his wife. He hasn't offered. Did you ask? Thought so. I had this dream that we did the laundry together. What a nightmare. Look, girl, the way it 
it is now, you got all the benefits and none of the complications. It's hot. And when it stops, you're out of there. It is hot, isn't it? It's hot. Well, what could be sweeter? You got romance, sex, and no obligations. Let's hit the bikes. <laughs> Come on, girlfriend. Shake your booty. Get up there. Now that you mention it, what could be sweeter? My first victim of the day. Hi, my name's Andrea. I'll be your trainer. We're just getting ready to go to a meeting. Conference is going fine, Nancy. You know how it is when the Fourth Estate gets together. It's who leaked what to who and a lot of cigars. You'd be bored stiff. Well, maybe next time. Promise. So what else is going on? Well, buy the couch if you want. Sure. You know, it would be some place for Tommy to sleep when he comes to visit. Yeah, Nan, I can fix that when I get back, OK? Yeah. Look, honey, uh, I've got to run. Well, you'll, uh, you'll meet somebody. Yeah, you do. I know it's hard to make friends with you. So, uh, everything else okay? Me too. She called me. Secretary must have put her through. I'm sorry you heard it. So am I. I just couldn't hang up. You sounded so comfortable. We are comfortable. That's marriage. You and I have something different. You have a history with her. I just can't make that go away. I know that, but does it have to follow us everywhere we go? It was nothing, really. Right. Then please just don't talk to her when I'm in the same room next time. At least let me have the illusion that when we're together, it's just you and I. I'm trying. I really am. The way you called her honey. It sounded so intimate. Rosie. Well, I'm sorry, Peter. I've never done this before. I don't know how to do it right. Neither do I. What does she call you? She call you honey? Or darling? Or don't. Well, you have the advantage, Peter. You don't have to fantasize about whom I'm in bed with when you're not with me. And you don't have to worry about walking in on some intimate conversation because the only one I'm having is with you. Rosie, why do we have to pressure ourselves? This is the first chance we've had to be alone together for more than a few hours. Because the more I'm with you, the deeper in I get. And I need to know how deep is too deep. This is not easy for me, either. I don't want to hurt you, Rosie. Don't say that. Please. That's what someone says just before they're about to. If we're going to protect ourselves from each other, then we better run the other way now. I'm not running. I'm here. And I know the rules. No promises, no rights. We don't get Christmas, we don't get New Year's. But what do we get? For now, just this. It's hard. Damn you, Donovan. Why'd you have to go get married and have a life? Well, there was 
Someone like me waiting for you. You could have given me a sign. It's that conference call. I've got to take it. I got to go back. I'll go exploring, maybe do a little shopping in town. If we could meet for a drink around 3 o'clock. Okay. Rosie, this way. Oh. Are we okay? Sure. Oh, one for cocktails? Uh, no, actually, there'll be uh, two of us. My... Uh, uh, significant other. <laughs> right. My, my significant other will be joining me. He's upstairs making a, a business call. Well, may I get you something? Uh, yes, please. I'll have a club soda. The night is bitter. The stars have lost their glitter. And all because of the man that got away No more his eager call The writings on the wall All those dreams you dream Have all gone astray you has run out and undone you the great beginning has seen its final inning don't know what happened it's all a crazy game some men are just better off left alone and we're better off without them are we girls Gonna wash that man right out of my hair. Wash that man right out of my hair. Gonna wash that man right out of my hair. Send him on his way. Hey, sister. <laughs> and don't we wish we could get rid of them that easily, huh, girls? <laughs> Men, we can't live with them. We can't live without them. The trick is just finding one that doesn't give us too much heartache. Hello, young lovers, whoever you are. I hope your troubles are few. All my good wishes go with you tonight. I've been in love like you. I want to take this moment to say hello to all you young lovers here tonight and all you single guys and gals, too. Love doesn't come easy. It's a cruel world. But you got to keep your chin up and love yourself because you're the best. Singular sensation, every little step she takes. A one thrilling combination, every move that she makes. One smile, and suddenly nobody else will do. You know you'll never be lonely with you. No. So don't let some guy go and take away all that you've worked so hard to become. Oh, I know, when it hits you, it hits you. Hard. Hey there, you, with the stars in your eyes. You talking to me? Love never made a fool of you. Until now, 
You used to be too wise. Yeah, I was once. Hey there, you on that high flying cloud. He has you dancing on a string. I'll put on the string. Break it, and he won't care. Won't you take this advice I hand you? Like a sister. Or are you not seeing things too clear? Are you too much in love to hear? Is it all going in one ear and out the other? So be good to yourself. I'm Bobby Rose. I'll be doing it for you this afternoon and every afternoon. Good times, bum times. I've seen them all, and my dear, I'm still here. Plush velvet sometimes, sometimes just pretzels and beer. But I'm here. Hey there. Hi. How's everything at the paper? What paper? Listen, how would you like to relax with me and forget the world because I have arranged for a massage for both of us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you sure know how to do it. I'll say that for you, Mr. Donovan. Sure. I just want to give some money to the singer. What singer? I meant the uh, piano player. Ready for your rub down? <laughs> what's the matter? We're not together. Peter, what's going on? Someone I don't want to see. You mean someone you don't want seeing us? The Chronicle's golden boy. Hey, Louise. How are you? We're terrific. How's Nancy? Good. Is she with you? No, she's uh, in Los Angeles getting the house together. It must be so hard. Another move. I don't see how she puts up with this guy. So you're uh, here on business? I'm doing a travel piece on romantic hideaways for the Boston Register. Hey, maybe you want to run it in your rag. Send me a copy. Hey, this is a great place. Why don't you bring Nancy here sometime and book the Mountain View Suite? Will do. Our love to Nancy. Come on, let's eat. I'm sorry. If I could take it back, I would. Right. Please, let's don't let this ruin things. Look, I think maybe we should just... I'll walk back in there and tell Klein exactly who you are. I'm not even sure I know who that is anymore. Well, I do. You're the first woman I ever really loved. How can you say that to me? I can't believe you just said that. You just don't say that to a person that is absolutely the worst thing you've ever said to me. Rosie. Let's just go.
Hi, Kimmer. Am I in the right house? Get me some salt up there, will you? I'm up to my elbows in this stuff. What's going on? I'm baking. You don't bake. I do now. And I'll tell you, I've been missing something. I didn't know what a void there was in my life until I got my hands in this dough. Should I be worried about you? Absolutely not. Here, have a brownie. I made them from scratch. Rosie, just don't get manic on me, okay? You know what? We should make a loaf of bread for Mr. Hare and all the people that we love. Okay, okay, that's it. I'm calling 911. The only thing is I don't have enough pants. We could buy some. How do you feel about going on a shopping spree? Okay, now let me think. The last time you baked was the night you and Dad had baked. Did you and Peter have a fight? No, everything's fine. I don't get that. Why do adults say everything is fine when really they're bummed? I'm not bummed. Okay, you're fine. Oh, well, you say so. I'm glad you're home. I missed you. Do you want to talk about it? No. Thanks for asking. Get the oven door for me, will you? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Now, we'll just wait for this to rise. Good brownies. Thanks. <laughs> so, Rosie, how was your weekend? Great. Hey, have a nice weekend? Yeah. Hey, Rosie. How'd the weekend go? What is this, a survey? <laughs> that good, huh? So, how was your weekend? Great. A bust, huh? Want to check me for ticks? You wish. Oh, Hutch, I've got work to do, okay? Right, right. I can see how eager you are to get to it. I'm waiting for that report on the Figman case. Right in front of you, Counselor. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I tell you about weekends. There's always hell to pay afterwards. It's me. Look, can we meet? I missed you. Are you okay? Look, I can't get the picture out of my mind. That look on your face. The panic. You were not proud to be seen with me. You were embarrassed to introduce me as the person that you love. I can't live like that. I don't even know how to live like that. We'll work it out. I can't do this anymore. It was an either. awkward situation. Who do you I... think I am? I don't hide for anybody. I did not come this far in my life to be be sneaking around like I was a criminal or, or being treated like I didn't exist because I damn well do exist. I know you exist. My father did not raise me to be less than what I am. I'm sorry it happened. I hate that it made you feel like this. <laughs> Rosie, look at me. All I see is something I can't have. You have the best part of me. No, I don't. The best parts are Sunday afternoon in your ragged old sweatshirt. Or you saying, hey, honey, you seen my keys? The best part is something that says, you and I know who we are to each other. And I'll never know what that something is unless you're the first thing I see every morning and the last thing that I see every night. I want you in my life. Look, nobody wins in this, Peter. And, and I think all of us deserve better. Do you think I planned this? Do you think that I wanted to wreak emotional havoc in our lives? This cost me, too. You were not supposed to happen. But I did. I'm sorry I'm not free to do the things that I want to do. But I'm not sorry that I fell in love with you. I can't do this to another woman. And I don't want to do this to me anymore. What do you want from me? More. Oh, 
Oh, Rosie, don't walk away Please, like this. Please, just let me go. Suppose I leave my wife. What if I get a divorce? What if? Well, what does that mean? What if? Give me time. You can have all the time in the world. But you can't have my time. I love you, Rosie O'Neill. 